to this video tutorial about the Hoodra Coda web application. Hoodra Coda is an automated coding engine custom built by UMC, designed specifically for drug name coding and ATC selection. This powerful tool is available both as a web application and as an API that can be integrated to your coding system. In this video, we will be focusing on the web application, which allows you to easily upload your uncoded data and receive a coded result that is ready for review. There are several Hoodra global versions in the B3 format available. There are currently three coding settings, preferred base rule, generic rule, and country rule. These settings are by default on, reflecting the most commonly adopted coding convention. When using Coda, this template can be filled with raw data. It is mandatory to enter the drug name in the verbatim field. While adding route, indication and country is optional, doing so can greatly improve the success and accuracy of the coding outcome. In cases where there are multiple ATC code choices, CODA requires either the route or the indication to be added in order to select the correct code. Once the template is ready, it can be uploaded to Hoodrug CODA and the coding can start. In the review result view, all files uploaded by your organization are listed. The results for each data file can be reviewed, deleted and exported. When reviewing, you first see a summary of the statistics. In the coding result view, the reported field displays the information in the uploaded data file. In the coded field, Hoodra Coda has used all the uploaded information to select a drug name from Hoodra Global and to select an ATC code. High certainty results have no background color, while the lower certainty results are marked in yellow. This is also where the coding path is presented for each individual verbatim. In this case, Coda was able to code to a drug name by identifying the ingredient information in the verbatim. If form or strength is included in the verbatim, Coda can identify and separate form and strength and code to the correct drug name. Misspelled verbatims can be coded using CODA spelling suggestions. Most non-unique cases can be solved by using route or indication as differentiators. In some cases, low certainty coding results are provided with a drug name and A to C suggestions. These results have lower confidence level and require a more careful assessment from the medical reviewer. Lower certainty suggestions can also be presented for misspelled names such as Chinese pinyin names. You can disagree on the coded drug name or ATC code suggested by CODA. By using this function, all disagreed rows are grayed out and are used to retrain the machine learning models. The CODA web application offers an option to manually code uncoded verbatims or even replace coding predictions that you may disagree with. To do this, simply add the drug code it should be coded to in the designated box, which will allow you to obtain a complete coded output. While reviewing coded data, you can view the results for drug names with high certainty coding only by toggling the high certainty filter. In the filter coding result, you can see that the high certainty coding paths has been selected. 
The result can also be filtered to allow for review of one coding path at a time, or by a number of available ATC codes. The coded result can be exported to an Excel file. The export includes the full coding result and is not affected by any filtering criteria. The Excel file contains a summary, the full result, and the result excluding disagreed. This worksheet only includes verbatims that have been coded either by CODA or manually. This means that uncoded and disagreed coding rules are excluded. By using this sheet, you can easily import the coded result into a coding system. You can find more information about Hoodra Coda in the Hoodra Coda user guide. I hope this tutorial was helpful, and if you have any questions, you're welcome to contact us. Thank you for watching.